guys. So today I figured I would do a 2016 into 2017 favorites video. Products that I am so excited to be continuing in with the new year and products that I just started with the new year. So let's get started. Um, my first favorite product of 2016 that I will still be loving in 2017 is the Becca Backlight Primer. Um, this is something that has been very nice on my skin, gives a really radiant glow. Um, it also has a really nice sparkle and sheen to it, so it's great for people that have dry skin and want to have kind of like a dewy effect to their makeup. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for people who run super oily because it probably will maximize something like that, but it's great for something where you just want to feel really fresh and it's not too heavy and it doesn't feel like wet or anything like that when you rub it in like some primers still do. So I love it and I'm probably going to continue loving it in 2017 as well. Um, my second favorite product of 2016 was the Master pa Palette by Mario. Um, I have been raving about this all over Instagram. It's all I've been using for the past couple weeks. I haven't even had it in 2016 that long because I got it for Christmas. So um, I just, I really have loved the colors. There's a lot of neutrals, so I thought... I already have a lot of neutrals, why would I need another palette like this? But it's just so different because the pigment and some of the different colors just have like more of a sparkle and a sheen to it and they're not really all matte. Um, it's just perfect and it's colors that you can use for every day and you can also use for going out or anything like that. So I really love it and they did a great job with this collaboration. Um, speaking of which, I use this palette with three brushes specifically. Um, two are new and one is old, and these are my new favorite for eyeshadow brushes. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Blending Brush. There is no number on it, but it is one of their very few blending brushes. This can be used if you're trying to create something tight, but if you're also trying to create something that you can blend out thoroughly. Um, it has more of a medium, um, not so much small, but it's definitely a medium head where it's able to create a really blended look, um, but it also can get right in that crease area and create something tight as well. So I love this brush. It does the trick. My next favorite is the Morphe E22 blending brush. This is also the same kind of width and um, density, I would say, as the It Cosmetics blending brush. The only difference is that this creates a fine point at the top. So when you do really wanna get just specifically in that crease, you can really get that and also blend it out really well. Um, and then lastly, the Morphe M433 blending brush. This is, it's fluffy, but it's also flat. So it's perfect to be able to really get in that crease. And then I would go in with one of the other brushes and blend it out. So this is more specifically for if you even want to create like a cut crease. Um, what else? I always will always 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 love my mac fix plus i use this over the years all the time it gives me a really radiant dewy finish but it also makes my skin feel really hydrated and i can take pictures all night and nothing will move so this product is great and i just picked up the urban decay all nighter um i actually have to be honest i'm not sure if this has anything new to it compared to what they've always had for the all-nighter um, but it was in a different packaging so I picked it up because I thought maybe this is like different um, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing but I've always loved Urban Decay setting sprays as well and this really does help keep your makeup on all night um, so today I used both of them because I love both of those um, my new favorite setting powder is the RCMA Translucent, Translucent No Color Powder. Um, it's perfect. It doesn't have a white finish. It really is translucent like it says because a lot of setting powders, they say translucent, but you can still see um, white from the powder or you can see more of like a yellow undertone from the powder. And that can be pretty frustrating. So. This is perfect because you really get that finish that you want. Everything looks like one texture and it looks like your skin tone. So it really doesn't um, leave any sort of um, different color finish or anything like that. Um, what else? 
else? I also have been loving the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is my new favorite and probably will be for a very long time because I haven't seen anything with this kind of coverage in forever. So this is definitely something that is right up my alley because I have dark circles all the time. Um, another new thing that I've been doing is putting a lot of white liner in my tear duct in my waterline and then doing black liner on the bottom and that really makes my eyes pop. So it's not that this is really a new product, but this is a new thing that I've been doing constantly to make my makeup and my eyes just look fuller. So I would definitely recommend this for anyone. This is just a simple white Kohl's pencil. And then I just picked up an NYX black liner pencil as well. I can't find it right now. Oh, here it is. So super easy. You can create it with any brand. They all have different colored pencils. And um, I would also say that the Brow Wiz is my new favorite for my brows. I've always used Anastasia's Dip Brow, but this is just super easy. And I can run out of the house and kind of take a a few flicks of the brow is and I have the best shape and it looks really natural and because the tip is so small on the crayon itself it creates really fine lines to look just like hairs so this is great it's quick and easy I use the shade soft brown um, they also have taupe and a million different colors for them um, for you to choose from um, I also have been loving Too Faced Lip Injection this makes your lip a little bit more fuller. I have it on right now. Um, it basically is an allergic reaction. There's no other way to put it. Um, lip plumper is meant to swell up your lips and you're just supposed to put it on the perimeter. So don't make the mistake of putting it all over your lips like I did the first time. Um, I also, probably last but not least, I can't really talk about that much because I have to run, but um, Mariah Carey came out with a collection with MAC. Um, she collaborated with them and had a lot of amazing products, but the packaging really blew my mind on this one. And I talked about it a lot, so I'm going to try to be brief right now. Um, but I just love what she did. I don't know how much she really contributed to the whole entire thing because MAC has done a lot of collaborations with a lot of artists. Um, I know that the colors, the packaging, and the names are so Mariah. So I love them. Um, you can see the lipstick has a little butterfly on it. It's so cute. She had a million different nude shades. Um, she also has a couple different glosses. Um, I picked up this one, which I have on right now. And it's kind of like a glittery pink nude, I guess you could say. Love it. Um, and then she also had a couple different highlighters, a couple skin finishes, and then she had this powder, which is like a body powder. I'm going to put it on right now. The only thing that I would say is that it's a, it's also a bronzer. So it's like a bronzing glitter powder. So if you're fair like me, this could go like a million different ways. I'm just lightly going to put it and disperse it on my arms. And then I'm like kind of patting it off and then I'll spread it in. Um, I put it on my neck for New Year's Eve and my neck was very, very dark and I didn't really realize why until I saw that this has bronzer in it too. So really pretty glow though. Um, I love that. I love different like sparkles and powders, anything that smells good too. And all MAC stuff smells almost like vanilla, like, so I love it. Um, and last but not least, I um, really love MAC their new um, Show Gold Highlight. I've been using this with the Peach Light Strobe Cream and the two of these together is amazing and I have it on right now and I've just been loving it. And I'm gonna, gonna highlight my shoulder. I mean, you thought the Mariah Carey was enough, but like I really just feel like I should do this too. Um, it's just so pretty and I love highlight so you can't go wrong. Um, I know that I said two times now that that was the last thing I would talk about, but last, but I swear not least, um, is the Chanel Tan Day Soleil, Tan Day Chanel, Soleil Day, Ch Soleil Tan Day Chanel. Um, it smells amazing. It's a cream bronzer. It's the best product that I have tried in 2016. Um, 
that I got for Christmas and that I will have for the rest of my life. This was hands down just my favorite because I love bronzers and I really can't be without them. If I had to live on an island with only one thing, I would choose bronzer and it would probably be this. So if you feel like splurging, go and pick this up. It's a really natural finish. I have it on right now with some Melba blush and it just gives you that really natural glow that you'd want during the summer that you can have during the winter time now. So I just rambled because my camera is going to die and I have to leave, but I love all of these products. They are my favorite. I use them almost every single day and I'm really excited to share them with you. Um, if I talk too fast, I will list all the products down below and I hope that you have a great start to your 2017, but to also keep in mind all of the great things that were in 2016. All right. Bye.